Hello everybody, this is John with Alarmlock and Napco Technical Support. In this video tech tip, I'm going to be discussing how to upgrade your DL Windows from uh, version 5 uh, all the way to version 5.5.3. Uh, the differences between any version previous to version 5.5.3 is that version 5.5.3 requires Microsoft SQL Server uh, 2012 Express. All of the previous versions of DL Windows utilize Microsoft SQL Server 2008 Express. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be just demonstrating um, how to uh, upgrade your DL Windows 5. You know, so this is for existing and upgrade installations only uh, for those uh, individuals looking to, you know, go to the latest software 553, and they're on a previous version. As you see in this video, I'm on version 523. So if you're on 533 uh, uh, beta or 542, you know, uh, this will, video will demonstrate how to upgrade to version 553. Uh, so again, if this is a brand new installation of DL Windows 553 uh, with no uh, prerequisite versions on your PC, uh, please follow the README guide on how to do a new installation only. Uh, so again, this is only for existing and upgrade uh, installations only. Uh, so as you see, I do have my DL Windows uh, open here. Uh, so first off, I always like to start off by uh, backing up the database. Uh, let's see, continue here. Yes, and we want to actually tools. Back up. Okay, so now I'm going to, yeah, previously it opened up a different folder, so I just reopened it here, and I'm going to put today's date. Dash 14 dash 19, so I know which uh, file this is. So, again, I always like to start off by doing a backup um, of your existing version. So, after that's complete, we can close out of DL Windows and we're going to go into the downloads. As I see here, I've already downloaded the DL Windows 553. So, I'm going to extract this here real quick. Okay, so again, if you have an existing version, uh, we're not going to go right away into installing the uh, application. Uh, we're going to actually have to install SQL Server Express manually uh, before we get started here in installing the 553 onto the PC. Uh, so you're going to go into your uh, DL Windows 553. You're going to click on SQL Express 2012, and you're going to see if your PC is a 32-bit, uh, which is x86, or if it's a 64-bit, um, which is X64, and you can actually verify that if you right-click your computer and you go into your properties, it actually say here, system type, 64-bit operating system. So I'm going to run the X64. And we're going to go through the whole process here of installing this so you can see, you know, all the steps that are required when you're installing uh, SQL Server 2012 Express. Or press yes here if your system is prompting. And depending on the processor and the PC that you're installing this on, I mean, this process obviously can uh, take a little bit of time. You know, as long as you have more of an up-to-date computer with uh, good memory, it should be pretty quick. Uh, so once this SQL Server Installation Center uh, pops up here, we're going to do a new SQL Server standalone. Uh, so we're going to click on this here.
and it's going to process the uh, setup program. And we're going to check off uh, to accept the license terms. Uh, you don't need to s send feature usage data. This is an optional uh, feature to check off. So we'll press next. And you can include an update. Uh, so we'll actually apply the update. You know, this will basically search uh, Windows Update for any uh, SQL Server 2012 updates here. So we'll actually let this um, process for us here as there is an update. Uh, this, again, could add a little bit of time to the installation of it, but uh, any updates, I would recommend to do it now uh, before you install the 2012 Express, so at least you have all the latest updates from Microsoft upon the installation of this for your DIA Windows 5.5.3 software. Okay, so the SQL Server setup process is uh, continuing here uh, after Windows applied those updates. And again, they could take a little bit of time depending on how big the update is from Microsoft. So once that's applied, it'll install the setup files and it's going to process the uh, current operation here. Okay. Okay, and in this step here, we have our instance features, and we're going to just make sure we do a select all. We need, you know, all of these have to be checked off, uh, so we'll do a select all, and we'll press next. Okay, and this is where we're going to name our SQL Express database. Uh, so we do, you know, recommend to keep it all uniform. So we'll do AL SQL Express. And I'm going to name it 2012 uh, so I can, and you have to click here in the instance ID and you'll see that it'll update it, you know, so both of these named instances must match, you know, so AL SQL Express 2012 and this is the instance ID and then we can just proceed and press next. Okay, these are just going over the account for each uh, SQL service, service, service. Uh, so this, there's no changes on this screen. We could just press next to continue. Okay, and then this is going to be the server configuration. Uh, you could leave the authentication mode on Windows authentication mode if you're going to be the primary user uh, using the, uh, the uh, Windows software and the only a user accessing the SQL Server database. Uh, we do recommend to do the mix mode, which would allow SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication, uh, just in case you'd like to administer your own, um, basically, administrator account for your SQL Server database. Uh, so we'll just enter the default alarm lock at 2012. Alarm lock at 2012. Oops, I think I alarm lock at 2012 and you know as you see I have my main user here and again this password uh, should definitely be retained you know I'm just entering in the default alarm lock uh, SA password for the SQL Server uh, database uh, you can create your own password and basically if you had a new user on a PC and they were not able to access the database you can use uh, the mix mode which will allow you to do a SQL Server authentication uh, instead of basing it upon the Windows user uh, so we'll just press next here, and this is optional. Just press next. Okay, and it's going to begin installing 
SQL Server 2012 Express. Okay, so the installation process has completed, and you'll see the status succeed. Um, you know, sometimes, depending on the PC and the updates of your Windows, you know, you might require a restart, and it will indicate that here in the status, but as you see here, everything succeeded, uh, so I can close out of this uh, installation center. Okay, so the next step, you know, so basically we just manually installed uh, DL Windows um, not the Windows, the SQL Server 2012 Express. Uh, so we install that first as a prerequisite uh, to installing 553. So now the next step will be is to remove the previous version. So we'll go in our add and remove programs of your computer. And I'm going to select the DL Windows 523. So we can uninstall the previous version. Okay. And now we're going to install uh, DL Windows 553. Uh, but instead of doing a server installation, we need to in do a workstation installer, which will just install the DL Windows application. So we'll right click it and do run as administrator. And we'll want to select more, and we will run this. Press yes. Okay, and this is also, you know, another prompt here. Install DL Windows 553 for yourself. You know, if you're going to, I like to just select everyone in case uh, you add another user down the line. Uh, it can access the DL Windows software. So that installed fairly quickly. Okay, so now after the DL Windows 5 has installed, we're going to go into the database configuration. So we're going to go DL Windows 5, database configuration. You know, because we're basically going to be importing and converting the SQL Server 2008 uh, and doing a backup in the new 553 so that we can import it to the 2012 uh, SQL Server. So I'm going to just show you here, as you see, you have the 2012 Express here that we just added. But we're, in this step, we're going to be still using the older 2008. Uh, so we're going to select this one, and we're going to check off Enable Database Configuration Options. And we're going to do Create New Database. And as you see here, I'm going to have my previous version in the dropdown. We can press next, and you don't need to check anything off in this uh, prompt here. We'll press next, and then we'll press finish. And this is basically importing and upgrading, you know, 523 to 553 using your old 2008 uh, SQL Server database. Okay, and then at this point, we should now be able to log in to 553. Yep, and we see all of the accounts that were in the older 523 have been imported successfully. And I mean, you can use your DL Windows uh, program with the older you know, database, 2008. But again, this uh, video was showing you how to upgrade to 2012, which includes a lot more features. So, and uh, we do recommend doing that. So first, once we're in here, we're going to uh, back up the database. Okay, and we're going to call this one 553, and I'm also going to uh, date it 8-14-19, and we'll press save. Okay, and that's been backed up successfully. So we'll close out of the, the uh, Windows software. And now we're going to go back into database configuration, and we're going to connect to the new SQL Server 2012 that we uh, created for alarm lock. So now we will select 2012. And in this step here, we're going to, 
just be creating a new database. We want to have a blank database uh, for 2012, and then we're going to import uh, that file we just backed up before. So we're going to create new database, press next. And again, you don't need to check anything off here. And then you press finish. Okay, now we are should be connected to SQL Server 2012. Press OK. And as you see, there's a blank slate here. And you can actually verify the database if you go to About. It actually tells you ALSQL Express 2012. So we are connected now uh, to the new 2012 SQL Server database and the deal Windows 553. So in this step, we're going to be migrating that um, backup file that we created uh, before using the older 2008. And the way to do that, we actually need to copy and paste that back file into the correct directory that was uh, newly created. So if we go into your C drive, and we're going into Program Files, and we're going to select uh, SQL Server. And as you see here, you're going to have the two databases here. You have the ALSQL Express 10 and 11 ALS SQL Express 2012. So we want to take the backup file that is in this, the older version, and import it into the folder so that we can now restore the database. So we're going to select backup. And as you see here, I have the two backups. One was the, the first step where we just performed the backup, and then we have the backup we did with 553. So this one here, I like to right click it, hit copy, and then I'm going to go back. And now select ALSQL Express 2012. And I'm going to open this folder, right click it in here, and paste it. So now this back file is installed into the ALSQL Express 2012 backup directory. Uh, so we're going to uh, minimize this here. So now if we go to Tools and we go to Restore Database, that file that we just moved is now present here. So again, a very important step in this conversion here. So now we're going to execute the database restoral. Okay, and the database has restored uh, successfully. As you see, all the accounts now are present here. And, you know, again, you can, you know, obviously perform another backup if uh, necessary. But as you see, all the accounts are now present here. You're now using the latest version of uh, SQL Server 2012, and you have updated your DL Windows to 553. Uh, again, my name is John with uh, Lawnlock and NAPCO Technical Support. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to uh, upgrade your existing DL Windows 5 to the latest version of DL Windows 553, uh, in which we've also upgraded uh, from SQL Server 2008 to SQL Server 2012. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.